Hey guys, we'll rock with Rocked On Detroit Lions and Rocked On Podcast Network. Wanted to give you a, a second update uh, from today's practice. And that was, you know, Jared Goff and, and his arm, his velocity seems to be much improved this season. Not saying that he doesn't have a great arm or, you know, he's not able to make the throws, but it just seems like this season he's putting a lot more zip on the ball. And there was a few times there where Cleef Raymond even had trouble, you know, pulling the ball in. But again, like I said in the first update, it's extremely hot and sweaty, you know, for these guys today. And uh, I'm sure there would be a different, you know, level of equipment on or, or T-shirts or armbands or something. But they didn't have much on today, you know, to help combat, you know, the, the conditional factors. So... To me, watching Jared Goff throw the ball with pinpoint accuracy today, uh, it was exactly what we expect him to do. Uh, he did it last season. You know, he, every quarterback has a couple of plays where they'd love to have him back. But Goff's accuracy has is, is always been one of the mainstays of his game. And it's really on display early in, in camp this season uh, that he's picked right, right back, you know, off from where he left. And... There was one play today with St. Brown where he threw the ball and it was it was a blind pass. So there was a tight end, uh, you know, coming out to the left to make a block. And St. Brown came across the middle and, and moved in front of the tight end, but you never saw St. Brown. Goff threw the ball to the back shoulder of the tight end, and then next thing you know, St. Brown squirts out behind him and catches the ball. It was a short pass. It, did, it wouldn't have gone for a first down, um, but then that ball also ended up on the ground. So it was really hard to identify what happened there at the end. But just watching that pass, uh, man, it, it was incredible. Uh, I've never seen a pass like that um, completed up close and personal. You see some things in games, but you're really not getting that quarterback's view, and that's what we had today during during this, uh, this period. So... More updates on wide receivers today. Um, there was quite a few balls that, that were incomplete and by all three quarterbacks. Um, St. Brown wasn't really lighting it up, you know, in the portion that we watched for about 30 minutes. Uh, but they were spreading the ball out. Laporta had a nice grab for a touchdown. Mitchell had a nice grab for a touchdown. The running backs got a lot of work today, catching balls out of the backfield. So the passing game was definitely on display with the running backs and the tight ends. And the rushing attack was on display uh, as well. And, and all three of those components were working seamlessly together, and they were able to push the ball down the field. Uh, like I'd mentioned earlier, it was the balls on the ground and, and you know plays that were getting blown dead early uh, to protect the players that don't really allow you to see you know what would have happened you know in the moments following if they were allowed to continue on through the play. But tremendous amount of accuracy by Goff today. Uh, Sedfeld didn't seem to have uh, the greatest day. Uh, Martinez didn't really have the greatest accuracy. So I can see why Teddy Two Gloves is being brought in. You know, at this point, they need a very competent uh, quarterback to back up Goff, and, and that's what we're going to see with Teddy Two Gloves. And we'll get more, you know, into that on Friday. Uh, so that's all I had uh, to update you all on was. Uh, you know, more about the wide receivers, the tight ends, and in the passing game, and Goff's accuracy. So stay tuned. One pride. Go Rocked on Detroit Lions. We'll see you all Friday.